Hello, this is Sartorius with Mythic MTG Tech number 361, looking at the best group hug cards out there. The joy and happiness that comes from playing well with others is what this whole list is about. Ways to help others enjoy the game. Who needs a decent mana base when you could just double everyone's mana and move on to casting giant, fun, awesome things in Commander? Let's even make it easier. Let's go through our decks and put out all of our basic lands as early as possible so that we can start casting casting those 10 casters. The number eight spot here, I even have the option for no one to lose. We can all draw. I mean, that's really what you want out of a competitive game like Magic the Gathering is the ability for all of us to get together and have a big hug for eight mana and some time for it to hang out on the board. We can draw together. Howling Mine. What a wonderful card. Another card from the Alpha set. As you notice, this game was really designed for group hugs in mind. We're about helping each other, drawing extra cards. For a mere $500, you can have an Alpha Howling Mine or an Unlimited Howling Mine for $55. If you don't care about the artwork, there is another Howling Mine out there that goes for about $2. But I recommend that Alpha Howling Mine. If you're going to give people group hugs, you should do it with the best possible card out there. The number six spot here, I've got Tempting Worm. I don't understand why more people don't play this card. It really just helps everyone. Each opponent can put any number of artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands into play, and you get a fuzzy little 5-5. Five five. Little piece of trivia here, if you look at that worm, actually appears in Eureka, right there in the center. That is the larvae that became the giant worm. Such a good card. And for merely a dollar, uh, MTG Finance, I don't understand why this isn't a $20 card. Eureka is like a $200 card. It should at least be 10%. It's the same card right there. The number five spot, Gate to Ether. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player reveals the top card of his or her library. If it's an artifact, enchantment, land, or creature, you put it into play. So good. For a dollar, you can help all of your friends. Number four spot here, Concordant Crossroad. The only thing that I need to say about this card is that it is equal to everyone. No one out there doesn't benefit because all creatures have haste, the ability to use their tap abilities right away. $75 for an original or $13 for that wonderful looking white border. The number three spot, I've got a few lands here. Every EDH deck should have these three lands. What is better than a land that lets everybody draw a card for two mana? A land that gives individuals 1-1 one, one spirit tokens, or even better, a land that you give to your opponent. I mean, this is really a token of selflessness. When you take your turn to put a land into play, and you tap it and give it to someone else. That's the spirit of caring that Commander is all about. The number two spot here, I've got the classics. Feldegriff, which is on the reserve list and getting a little bit spendy at $3. If you can't afford that, you can pick up the questing Feldegriff at a 40 cent price mark. But each of these allow you to help your opponents again and again for minimal effect to you. And in the number one spot here, we've got, I can't even pronounce this card, it is so cool. Each player may play an additional land on their turn, so it's got that ramp ability. And if you've got no cards during your upkeep, you get to draw three cards. So it's an ancestral recall every turn. I have no idea why this card is only a quarter. I would buy a hundred of these so that you can put one in every single one of your commander decks. This is how you make friends and influence people. What wonderful group hug card did I miss from this top 10 group hug list? Thank you for checking out the channel. I appreciate everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting it. Until next time, choose the cards wisely. By the way, please subscribe to the channel or consider supporting it on Patreon. I greatly appreciate that so we can have more happy, fuzzy videos to help people play Magic the Gathering in a loving way.